hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today we will show the modern cinematic tone and i'll discuss about all the stuffs the settings and the color why i used all the stuffs over there so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so i downloaded some images from unsplash.com and i'll provide you that download link in my video description so here the main image was like that press ctrl or command j you'll get another copy of this layer go to the filter and camera filter at first i want to tell one thing the camera filter is another plugins for the photoshop and this one is very similar to the lightroom you can use any of like settings like lightroom if you used it earlier so if you want to get the download link of the camera 13.0.2 please check out my video description from here i'm going to the load settings options from here i made the preset for you guys and i'll provide you uh, that download link in my video description that that is the modern cinematic xmp and load it up so instant change you are getting over there and what i have done in these settings let's start so here the discussion about this the temperature plus one and that's why you are getting the little bit warmy tone over here the exposure and other stuffs i didn't touch the texture i made the texture plus 55 that's why you are getting some grain and the like a sharpened feel in this image and here the clarity as well plus 5 i increased the clarity that's why you are getting the sharpen and the noisy environment actually and here the dehaze you know that the dehaze button a DA slider like that if you decrease that it will be like foggy and if you increase the value it will be the clear so that's why i made the dehaze value that is 15 that's good and here the curves i didn't use the tone curves and the detail options i didn't use the detail or other stuffs from here the color mixture the main game from here started here the, the like hue saturation luminance hue which color will be defined with that and the saturation percentage of the color and luminance the intensity of the color hue of the aqua and blue blue i made that things that is minus 24 and the saturation of the blue zero and here orange minus 21 and the aqua plus 62 the luminance i made the red luminance plus 42 the intensity of the face and lips and the other like red areas plus 42 and the orange plus 12 and the blue plus 16 and then going to the color grading here i didn't use anything from the color grading the optics option i didn't use the geometry and effects i didn't use that the calibration i made the calibration main game here the hue that is which color will be that is plus 6 and the hue of the green primary minus 42 and the hue of the blue primary that is minus 4 that is the value and the saturation plus 8 and that's all for this image if you want you can reduce the green by using the detailing option going to the there and noise reduction and the color noise reduction will get the smooth feel over there or you can do another way to make the uh, like grain like reduce here in the basic portion you can make the texture a little bit down and the clarity a little bit down and you're getting this smooth image over there it's totally up to you you have that uh, assumption and facilities to make that and hit the ok button you're getting the instant change in this photo and then let's try another photo according to this so this one just import it press controller command j you are getting the new layer of copy of this layer going to the filter again going to the camera filter and then going to the load settings and import that preset the modern cinematic you're getting the instant change over here so in this case we are getting too much red in the face that's why i'll go to the color mixing of options and going to the saturation make the saturation a little bit down and the orange as well and here the basic portion you can make the vibrance a little bit down and saturation a little bit up so before and after hues change and that is the cinematic tone uh, this one is the trendy things in this time and hit the ok button 
you're getting the instant change over there so after using the preset if you want to use another filter for the photo like um, the nick collection and other stuffs you can use so i have that plugins that is the uh, like filter and nick collection nick collection that is another preset are uh, actually plugins you are getting all the uh, like bunch of preset and filters over there you can use that for your like a look creative way or looky way to the another things from here uh cross processing i'm using from here and bunch of preset and the sub preset over here you can use one of them l02 l03 l02 is good for me and that is relevant with that here are lots of preset you can explore them to use in your photography that will be fun and hit the ok button it will take time to provide you the final output in this uh use this one the normal the opposite a little bit down 84 percent is good let's see the before one and after one huge change and huge cinematic change in this photo so hope that you learn a lot from this video and it will be like uh, helpful to your photography editing and don't forget to subscribe and give the credit line if you are using my preset so until the next video i mean so i'm signing out today don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and thumbs up and don't forget to comment in my video comment section and uh, all the stuffs i'll just provide it in my video description you can download from there stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well bye bye